Just a minute. Uh, yeah. Jenny. Hello, Julia. I know I'm probably the last person you expected to see or wanted to. It's all right. Uh, please come in. And you're not exactly someone I want to see either. It's just that we need to talk. Jenny, this is about Ned and me. No, I didn't come here to talk about your affair with my husband. It's not an affair. You and Ned are legally separated. That's right, Julia. Ned and I are finished, so I really don't give a damn if you're together. Really? Why don't I believe that? I don't care what you believe. I'm here about a tape. Tape? Oh, come on, Julia. You know all about it. Just like you know about the affair that I had with Senator Kensington when I was 16. Is it coming back to you now? All right, why do we have to discuss all of this? We have to do it right now? Yes, we do. We really need to talk about it. You see, I know that Ned has a tape of the Senator and I discussing that affair, and I know that he is blackmailing the Senator into getting a Senate committee to help you two get an airline. Jenny, this isn't something that you and I should be discussing. Yes, it is. Because the bottom line is, I'm here to beg you to stop Ned from using that tape. Julia, it wasn't easy for me to come here. Oh. I'm sure that it wasn't, but I really don't know what you think I should do. I need your help, and I'm not leaving here until I have it. Denny, I don't feel comfortable talking about that tape. It's really between you and Ned. No, it isn't. And not anymore. Julia, I'm begging you. Ned won't talk to me. He's too angry. I really don't think you have anything to worry about, okay? That's all I can Why? Say. I mean, and do all you tell you say. something? Julia, tell me. What did he say? You know what kind of businessman Ned is just as well as anyone. He knows what he's doing. He said no one would get hurt. No one's going to get hurt. Listen, not only is he going to destroy Senator Kensington's career, but he is going to drag my name through every tabloid in the country. Jenny, I would help you if I could, but I, I really, I sincerely believe that you have nothing to worry about. Besides, I can't control what Ned does. Aren't you in on this airline deal together? Yes, but I'm handling the finance. It's Ned that's handling politics. And you don't care how dirty he gets? You just close your eyes? Julia, this is something that you could stop if you wanted to. There is nothing to stop. Jenny, the only way Ned can make sure that he won't have to use that tape is to make sure everybody believes he will. Well, I believe that he will. But if you don't, you're a fool. Then I'm a fool. Julia, we used to be friends. I mean, not that that counts for much anymore, but... I mean, are you willing to stand by and let two more lives be ruined? Isn't that tape done enough damage? Think about it. It's already ruined two marriages. Julia, I... Well, well, well. If it isn't the lying tramp herself. What are you doing here, Jenny? I'm here about that tape, Ned. Ah, uh, yes. The tape. You're blackmailing Senator Kensington with it. And I asked Julia to ask you to stop. But I'll ask you. Ask away. Don't use that tape, Ned. Read my lips. Try and stop me. I can't believe that you would stoop this low. You should also give the senator a message and tell him time is running out. You're really out to destroy him, aren't you? This is strictly a business proposition. I get the airline and he gets to keep his career. And what about me? Oh, yes, we can't forget about you, can we? I can just see you headlining the 6 o'clock news, not to mention the tabloids. I can't believe I married somebody this cruel. You're going to be a big hit in the supermarkets. I knew this wasn't about business, Ned. It's about revenge. You can't forgive me for what happened. And now you'll do anything to get back at me. All I want is that airline. You should know that by now. And you should also know that a quarter million stops at nothing till he gets what he wants. This is really what makes you happy, isn't it? No matter who it hurts. I think you should tell your um, cradle-robbing boyfriend to cooperate, and then we'll all be happy, okay? You're worse than cruel, Ned. You're ruthless. 
Why did it take me so long to see that? I must have been blind. That wasn't the nicest thing you've ever done. Well, I'm not trying to be nice. I'm trying to get us an airline. But is it worth all the pain we're causing? Do we or do we not want an airline? We do, but Ned... Do you realize how much money we're going to make with that airline? I do. And we know what the bottom line is, don't we? Look... To get what we want. But do we have to hurt Jenny any more than we already have? If your conscience is bothering you, it's a little too late. The threat is on the table. The next move is Kensington's. Look, I don't mean to doubt you, Ned. I know you've done your homework. <sighs> Kensington's going to come through for us, right? Right. In fact, he's obviously already on the run. That's why I sick Jenny after you. <sighs> it almost worked. She begged me to stop you. But I don't need to, right? Right. <laughs> we are so close to nailing this guy. You just hang in there, baby. Stay strong. We're gonna get everything we want. Somebody explain to me the insanity that rules this household. Trishy, do you mind if I finish this last chapter before we discuss the family? I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about the servants. Reginald has taken a vacation. Oh, mercy. Shall I call the cops? Why he would need a vacation is beyond me. Well, considering the way you treat him, perhaps it's long overdue. I am more than civil to Reginald, considering his station in life. Somewhere near the bottom of the human condition. He is barely trained to wipe his feet before he comes into our house, much less serve as our butler. Well, he's only going to be gone a few days. Think how much you can enjoy the clean floors in the meantime. You know, Daddy, I don't think you really grasp the delicate interplay between quartermain and servant. Well, as long as he brings me my slippers every evening at 8 p.m., I'm satisfied. <laughs> Excuse me. Senator Jack Kensington is here to see you both. Oh, <laughs> send him in. Reginald might not have a job to come home to. <laughs> Hello, Edward. Hmm. Hello, Tracy. Jack. It's a pleasure to see you, as always. I am very grateful you could see me on such short notice. Uh, grateful? <laughs> well, I'm curious as hell as to why you'd fly in from uh, Washington. <laughs> well, I have a small problem. And unfortunately, its name is Ned Ashton. My son a problem? <laughs> there must be some mistake. Frankly, Edward, your grandson is out to destroy my career. And I want you to make sure he doesn't. Because I am not going to sit around and let him ruin my life. Why my grandson would want to destroy your career is beyond me. Daddy Jack's exaggerating. Hardly. Why don't we discuss this in the other room privately, you and I? Forget it, Tracy. If uh, Ned's up to some mischief, I'd like to know what it is. Daddy, it's no big deal. No big deal? Everything you've spent years to achieve is about to be destroyed? Something tells me I need a drink. Edward, there's a tape concerning an affair I had with a young lady. Oh, yeah, I know about those things. Uh, young ladies, that is. This tape, which your grandson is holding over my head, was gotten by illegal means by none other than your daughter. Think you better make that drink a double, Dad. Mm -hmm. Tracy was blackmailing Jenny with that tape, and Ned is now blackmailing me. Blackmail is a serious charge, Jack. Tracy, do you want to fill in the details, or shall I? Well, I think since you're the one that had the affair with Jenny, you ought to do it. Affair with Jenny? It was a long time ago, Edward. Yes, she was 16 at the time, Daddy. Our little Jenny? Our little Jenny. She even managed to get herself pregnant. Of course, she did. Miss Carey. Sorry I had to find out this way, Ed. Oh, your concern is so touching, considering nobody invited you here. Did you expect me to just sit around and let Ned destroy my life? Why not? You sat back and let Jenny's life get ruined. What happened to Jenny was unfortunate indiscretion. That was then. This is now. Which means you're dumping it in our lap. Exactly where it belongs. If you expect me to get Ned to back off, forget it. Ned's not the back-off type. However, with a little political maneuvering... Ned gets his airline, you get to keep your job. Is that how you think this is going to work? Yeah. Like my father says, 
The Quartermain never backs down. And what about ELQ? You need Washington to finesse those delicate interstate and international deals, don't you? Need I say more? It sounds like a threat to me, Senator. Does that sound like a threat to you, Tracy? Call it what you want. But I'm not going to let your family ruin my career. Hello. Mother? I knew you wouldn't mind my barging in. Would it matter if I did? I need to speak to my son. Oh, by all means. I'll see you later. Next. Just be a minute. Oh, it's a pleasure, you. Tracy. Well, Mother? Fine mess you've gotten us into, Ned. Excuse me? Senator Jack Kensington, remember him? How can I forget him? He paid a visit to your grandfather and me today. Really? He's threatening us, Ned. You make that tape public, and he will make sure that Washington is less than kind to ELQ. He's bluffing. No, Ned, I don't think he's bluffing. Well, just the fact that he's threatening us means that he's about to cave in. I don't get the logic there, Ned. Well, if I release the tape, the senator will be ruined. He'll be in no position to cause trouble for ELQ. Not a risk I care to take, Ned. Well, I'm willing to take it. Your grandfather and I want you to back off, Ned. Not till I get my airline. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting my point across. This is not up for discussion. This is an order from your grandfather. I don't give a damn. I don't take orders from anyone. Am I hearing things? I am not backing off from the senator. That's final. This is ELQ business, Ned. And I'm the CEO. And I make the decisions. Oh, and aren't they just fabulous decisions, driven by revenge and not good business sense? I think it makes very good business sense to acquire this airline, no matter what it takes. At the risk of losing everything we already have, Ned? I know what I'm doing, Mother, so why don't you just run off, go find Marco, and do some fundraising, all right? Because I am not backing off. 